Hello, welcome back to a brand new video my people. Hope you're all good. Hope you're having a good week. Hope your training's on point and all that shit. I'm doing very well myself, if you guys are wondering. Um, obviously during this self-isolation and bullshit. But I'm going to quickly talk to you guys. Oh my head. Give me two seconds. God, setting up. Camera setting is horrible. Is that better? Can you see my face? There we are, ignore the dirt. We've basically got, this is uh, that I showed you guys the other day, the school lockers that I'm using as my bench press at the minute. So it's got a bit of mud here. Don't worry, it's not shit. It smells mud. <laughs> but anyway, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are staying safe. Hope you guys are staying fit during this time. It's horrible. I'm gonna start this video off by telling you guys that obviously I am on a bulk. And as I said in the last video, I'm taking this bulk to the next level. I'm taking it very serious. Obviously, I'm very lucky to have the equipment that I've managed to acquire during this time. So I thought to myself, I'm going to really focus on it because I've got nothing really to focus on at the moment except from that. So what I'm doing is every morning I am weighing myself, okay? So on the 27th, which was two days ago, I weighed 13 stone 88. Now I, uh, on the 28th, which was yesterday, I, wore, I weighed 13 stone 96, which was after having the 5,000 calories. So... That was pretty good. Um, and then this morning I woke up and I'm 13 stone 10. So guys, my weight is piling on at the minute. It's because, I think it's because I'm just staying consistent hitting my calories. I'm like the least calories I've had all week. So today's Friday, the least calories I've had literally, no, today's Sunday, sorry. So I'm losing track with the days, man. Um, the least amount of calories that I've had has been like 3,500 in the last week which is over well over my maintenance so that is why my weight is piling on obviously I'm gonna at the minute I'm obviously enjoying the food I'm having what I want um, obviously in reason like <coughs> it's like what time is it today <coughs> time is it today what time is it now it's half three so already today in my fitness pal I've had so for breakfast I had what I had the other day which was the Nutella on toast, 60 grams, that shit is easy. I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me, it is windy outside. Um, so easy to eat. And then I had 60 grams of Cocoa Pops with semi-skim milk. And then just now, uh, for my pre-workout milks, I'm training legs in about half an hour. I had it about half an hour ago. I had 125 grams of pasta, 100 grams of tuna, and 100 grams of sweet corn. So, the food that I'm having is a mixture of obviously, because later on in the video, you will see that I'll be having pizzas and stuff, but they're high calorie dense food to get in, obviously, to have three and a half to 4,000 calories. I'm aiming for 4,000 calories a day if I can. Like, 3,500 is a disappointing uh, marker for me. So, 4,000 is my marker I'm aiming for. So, to get that, like, out of pasta like literally in that pasta meal there was about 500 calories and to have that what eight times a day man like this for example that's so hard obviously a pizza 800 calories or whatever i can literally consume that and then have my next meal within like two hours and be hungry again but it's definitely working guys i'm definitely i don't know if you can see i'm definitely feeling fuller i'm definitely feeling bigger so it's all working out well um i'm gonna do like this series for you guys so I think in a minute, I think it works out, I'm around about 87 kilos, I think I said to you guys the other day, so I'm probably about 87.5 kilos now, um, I haven't actually done the exact measurements, but I will work it out. The goal by the end of this series, so I'm going to do one of these every week, one or two a week, just taking you guys through my day in self-isolation, show you guys a bit of my workouts and stuff that I'm doing, um, and just show you guys basically what I'm doing uh, in my life, like apart from obviously the training and eating, like it's not a lot obviously, but I'll show you guys. And then uh, the end goal that I'm going to set myself is to weigh 93 kg. Uh, by the looks of it, we could be in this self-isolation for a hell of a long time. I've just seen a tweet. Uh, I'm not sure if it's official or anything like that. But we could be in self-isolation in the UK till June. So that's enough time for me to do it. As long as I can get the food, um, I should be fine to do that. Uh, and obviously stay motivated, stay consistent, but that is where you guys come in because you guys need to, just as much as I keep on it, you guys, you got to keep on it me to do my shit. But anyway, I'm going to head in now, take my pre-workout, and then it's a leg session today, so I'll show you guys a couple of clips. But yeah, let's get on with the rest of the day and let's smash it. <sighs> right then, people, so I smashed out legs. Uh, didn't really show you guys because it was so windy out here. And to find a place for the camera in the back garden is quite difficult, and I'm obviously quite worried that it's going to fall off. So I didn't actually show you guys legs, but I promise you on my life, 
that I've done them. And now I'm doing some biceps because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep doing what I was doing at the gym before and that was doing biceps like every other day just so they can grow and re I'm really seeing the difference of doing it. That's what they say, if you want to grow a certain muscle area, you need to train it two or three times a week. So I'm aiming for three. So I'm only doing like two or three exercises every time. Um, so I've already done some close grip uh, on the EZ bar, just close grip, uh, three sets of 10. I'm now just going to go on to do some just normal dumbbell curls and then I'm going to go on to do some a finisher at the end which I'll show you guys. So I'm going to do some dumbbell curls. Again, I'm going to make sure I'm warm, ready for it. I'm quite a person that likes to warm up. Um, I don't like going straight into exercises. So I'm just doing some dumbbell curls. But what I'm going to do is every time I do a video like this, guys, I'm going to give you guys some examples that you can do it at home with household items. So dumbbell curls, obviously, again, I am very fortunate I have dumbbells and a few of you guys might have, a few of you guys might not. But again, try and find something in your household that is a decent enough weight for you to fill. Obviously, I'm going to be going between six and eight reps each arm. If you guys have stuff lighter stuff, then what you usually do is go for higher volumes or go for more reps. Go for like eight to ten reps each arm and just try and get that burn and obviously have less rest periods than what you normally would just to keep the intensity up. So all we're doing dumbbell curls, okay, you guys have probably seen me do this a hell of a lot. But the idea of it is just keeping that elbow tight and driving the dumbbell up towards your shoulder, okay? So keeping that elbow locked. I'm just gonna do this as a warm up set. And then I'll go into my working sets, but I was gonna show you guys what we're doing. It's keeping that nice tension in the arm. Make sure your elbow is the one thing you don't wanna do is I'll show you. So this is what you don't wanna do. You don't wanna be doing any of that. We don't want that in this, okay? We wanna keep elbow locked, keep that tension. As you can see, arm is full under tension and coming down. So you're just gonna go Six each arm, three sets again, as I say guys. The wind just doesn't accept me doing videos today. Um, oh my gosh, give it two seconds. <laughs> I thought the wind had died down, but luckily I found a stable place for my camera. Um, Again guys, do this with whatever you can find in your household. Comment down below what you guys actually find and use. I'm interested to know or message me on Instagram. Link will be in the description as always. But I'm going to do my working sets now and then I'm going to go on to my burning exercise which I'll show you guys. You can also do at home because it does not require heavyweight at all. You know I say that I am better now, better now. You only say that because I'm not around. Well then guys, next exercise is the burner, okay? So... I've got the eight kilo dumbbells. You guys can do this with obviously dumbbells if you've got it, as I say. Also, if you have, again, tins of beans, tomato ketchup, bottles of squash, whatever you can get a hold of. Okay, it's a burning set. You don't have to go heavy on this. All right. So the first exercise, so it's a three way exercise uh, for biceps. So the first one is cross hammers. So all it is, is cross Make sure you get to the other side of your chest. A lot of people do it, but they just come to here. No, you want to come all the way across, feel that squeeze and come down, okay? So we're going to do 10 on each arm, so 20 in total. Then we're going to go into double hammer curls. So together, up towards your shoulder, back down again, keeping that elbow tucked in, feeling that tension. And you're going to do 10 of those. And then the last one is just normal dumbbell curls. Okay, so it's just up. Like I don't like done in the last clip, but this is obviously for burning. So it's gonna be at the end of it and it's gonna be 10 on each side as well. So it's 50 reps in total. Are we ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So you're just gonna go up, two, three, four. I doubt I'll be able to count at the end of it. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Straight into the double hammers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then just normal curls. One. 10 each side, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, starting to feel it now, 10, 11, but we keep going, 12, 13, we ain't gonna grow doing nothing, are we? 15, 
16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Oh, feel that one. So what I would do is at the end of your like home workout, whatever you guys are doing, or if you are able to do like muscle splits and stuff like I am, do that at the end of your biceps. Three sets of that. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do another two sets, and I'll tell you what, your arms are like that. Oh, horrible, man. But it's good. You feel the pump. You feel good. Um, the one thing also I would say about these is, I don't know if I seem to get it where I get a burn down my forearms after. So all I do at the end of it is, I'll see if I can show you, is I just stand to the wall. And I'll just literally put my hand as flat as I can and push. And I'll do that for like eight seconds, eight seconds each side, twice over, it just stretches it out. But yeah, I'm gonna finish this out and then I'm gonna head in, have my protein shake, and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Right then people, so that is the session done. Smashed it out of the park. Uh, feeling good, feeling pumped. And now I've got my post-workout shake, which is the Mars by Mars by Protein one. This is the Snickers flavor. I think the Snickers one's my favorite out of the three that I've got. So I've got the Snickers, the Twix, and the Mars. Um, Twix is really nice. I think it's just because I like Snickers like generally in like normal concept, so just kind of like goes well. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna have this. Then I'm gonna chill out, play a bit of PlayStation like normal at the minute. And then obviously edit this video. So I've got to edit what I've done before. Um, if you guys are watching this, I've done a thing on my phone. Let me grab my phone. I found out a little fact about my channel, which is very interesting. Let me load it up. Let's go to analysis. Uh, if I go here, it says that 75.2 of you that watch my videos are not subscribed. Come on guys, sort that out. Come on, just press that red button, help us me out. So if we have like nearly enough 2,000 subscribers now, if everyone that is on that 75, we'll be nearly at like 8,000 subscribers if everyone that watches or has watched my videos in the past has pressed that subscribe button. I mean, you can put the notifications on as well, obviously, if you enjoy my videos and you get notified every time I upload, but you don't have to do that. Like, literally just smash the subscribe button and then it will come up in your feed that, obviously, I've uploaded a new video, so you guys can watch it if you want to watch it, if the title interests you or anything like that. It just helps me out, guys. Like, <clears throat> it's like, you know, when people have, like, Instagram and a like helps or they, like, like my stuff. It's kind of similar to that. It's just press, you press one button... You don't have to be notified if you don't want to, because I know that notifications do. I, I don't do it. When I subscribe to people, I don't put notifications on just because I just don't like getting the notifications on my phone. It's just it's just annoying. I understand that. So just press the subscribe button. Don't worry about putting the bell on unless you want to. Um, and it just helps me out. And then it means we, this channel can grow. The more subscribers you have, obviously, the more likely you're going to be put on recommended videos for someone. And if you guys enjoy it, you want to help me out, like smash it. But anyway, that is it. That's all I wanted to say to you guys um, about that. But if you enjoyed the workout that I, or the two exercises that I showed you guys, obviously give that a go at home. Also, if you have any questions, message me on Instagram and I can help you out. But I am waffling. Like This video is probably just like 10 minutes of me just chatting shit. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have got to this part of the video, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe. But anyway, I'm going to chill out, do a bit of editing, play a bit of PlayStation, and I'll catch you guys up when I have my next meal. Right then, people, next meal is going down. This is what we've got. Two of the mini Chicago Town pizzas. These are unreal. I've done it in the oven this time, so it took about 20 minutes, but apparently they taste nicer in the oven than the microwave. Got some garlic mayonnaise there, and of course, you know I like my dips when it comes to stuff like this. Chilling, watching the fifth episode of Sex, Educa Sex Education. I'm loving it. I'm not overwatching it just because, obviously, I want to keep it going. Obviously, like, I don't want to overwatch it, and then it'd be done in, like, two days. So, watching, like, an episode a day at the minute while I eat my like evening meal um just having this then i'm probably gonna play playstation and then i'll have another meal so it's currently about eight o'clock so i'll probably have another meal around half nine so i'll show you guys what that is but yeah i'm gonna chill watch this and relax right then ladies and gentlemen boys and girls this is the final food of the day final meal final whatever so all it is is if you guys haven't seen it the new ben and jerry's so i'm whispering i went to bed um New Ben and Jerry's thing is called Netflix and Chilled. It's like um, peanut butter ice cream, pretzels, all that. So I've got 200 grams of that. It is like 550 calories for that. Easy for the bulk. But anyway, I'm gonna have this. I'm watching. Of course. 
and then head into bed and I'll speak to you guys in the morning when I weigh myself. Fingers crossed I'm heavier. Come on. We have to get the gains. Wow then people just done the way in my voice. <clears throat> Seems to be in the morning my voice goes funny, but once I get talking, it's all right. Um, <clears throat> so my weight now, 13 stone, 11 in the morning. This is unreal, like the progression that I'm making is a joke on what I'm eating. So of course, I've got my breakfast, two slices of Nutella on toast, 60 grams of Cocoa Pops. If it's working, why change it, eh? So I'm gonna have this, watch some sex education, but I'm gonna wrap this video up now because it's been going on for a while. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, smash the like button. Of course, subscribe if you're new. And obviously share this around with people because we all need stuff to do while we're in quarantine. So why not <clears throat> share this around? But anyway, till next time guys, stay focused, stay positive, keep up with positive, and I'll see you in the motherfucking next one.